Hi everyone, through this short presentation, I would like to introduce you to the very exciting initiative called Share Screen Africa. Once you have listened to this presentation, give it some thought. Maybe you would like to become part of this program or encourage others to do so. Collectively, we could make a huge difference for the protection of nature in Africa. Before I give you the detail of this initiative, just a brief explanation about where it all started. Share Screen Africa was born out of the collective thinking of the leadership for conservation in Africa and a number of companies, conservation organizations, and universities. At the end of this presentation, you can see the logos of the founders of this initiative. However, we would like to partner with many more. You can learn more about the leadership for conservation in Africa at www.lcafrica.org. Having been involved in many African countries over many years, it is our collective experience that there is both a need and a huge opportunity to share knowledge and conservation experience between various conservation counterparts, both internationally and in Africa, to virtually share knowledge and experience in each other's classrooms, training centers, and with our peers. The fantastic part is that we have discovered that there are many experienced and skillful people worldwide, whether scientists, researchers, academics, nature conservation practitioners, and also students, who are willing to freely donate some of their time to share their expertise and knowledge with their counterparts in Africa. Let's call this group of people the Share Screen Africa guest speakers. On the other hand, our friends and colleagues from various African-based universities, colleges, conservation organizations, and those doing conservation on a daily basis, and students, indicated that they would significantly benefit by inviting guest speakers into their training centers, classrooms, and even boardrooms. Let's call the second group the Share Screen Africa hosts. So, on the one hand, you have the guest speakers willing to donate time, and the hosts who wishes to link with the guest speakers. These two groups are then virtually linked to share their knowledge and experience. You might wonder how all this comes together from a technical and process perspective. Let me provide you with a short five-step summary of it all. Firstly, we have developed a Share Screen Africa platform, which is the central hub of it all. When active, the platform can be viewed at www.sharescreenafrica.org. Secondly, those who are willing to donate their time or share their expertise with others in the African context simply register the topic of expertise on the platform with a paragraph about their background, qualifications, field of experience, and the like. They then get registered on the platform, and by doing this, we will build up a library of guest speakers willing to link with the agreed audiences in Africa. Thirdly, those who wish to host a particular guest speaker simply apply online for the topic of their choice, where after the Share Screen Africa team will link the host to the guest speaker. The fourth step is purely procedural, however, a cool part of the Share Screen Africa initiative. We will record the first presentation of each guest speaker and put it on the Share Screen Africa platform as well as YouTube. This implies that the first live lecture of each guest speaker will be available to all in Africa, and for that matter, the world, to be viewed digitally. We call this the multiplying effect, as the one presentation could be viewed many times over. It is like an extended classroom, offering lectures and those doing training an extra layer of information, which could be used if needed. The fifth step, which does not always have to happen, takes place once a guest speaker's presentation is digitally available and the particular guest speaker has donated enough hours to have several discussions. The remaining hours could be spent with other host organizations who have viewed the initial presentation online but would like to go in more detail on the topic. This implies that for the remaining donor hours, we will link a particular guest speaker for more in-depth discussions with other hosts. In summary, there are guest speaker who will be linked to African-based hosts. These guest speakers then do a presentation on a particular topic which gets recorded and is captured on the share screen platform. Additional donor hours of registered guest speakers are made available for those hosts in need for a detailed or contextualized discussion. 
That, in short, would be the primary function of ShareScreen Africa. ShareScreen Africa will also offer social development opportunities over and above the guest speaker. There is a special feature which will provide students and conservation organizations with social development opportunities. We have approached companies and training organizations who are willing to present courses, let's say over a 10-week period, on a broader range of social development topics. For example, financial management, leadership, and other soft skills. Such courses will be open for students and conservation organizations to form part of their social development programs. This will also be advertised on the ShareScreen Africa platform for those who would like to make freely use of this. The T's and C's of ShareScreen Africa. There are some general matters to point out. It speaks for itself that ShareScreen Africa comes with some terms and conditions. To ensure quality speakers, committed and time-conscious audiences, to prevent plagiarism, especially around visual images used online, and other minor conditions for both the guest speakers and the hosts. In addition, ShareScreen Africa is not intended to be a one-way process. This is why it is called ShareScreen, implying that we share information, especially in the questions and answer sessions post every presentation. The idea is to learn and share both ways. The focus of ShareScreen is Africa, but we do want to encourage international experts to join this program sharing their knowledge with our African colleagues. I thank you for your support.